Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, and this is just going to be a quick look ahead to the Phillies and Nationals tonight, as Spencer Howard won 90 pitches through his best performance yesterday, getting through five innings, tiring in the end, but still doing well and performing very well. So, Howard did good yesterday, he tired a bit in the end, but I really liked how I saw he was able to throw more in a plane other than in the fifth inning. As Ricky said, his head was kind of pulling out and throwing like this, but once he gave up that homer, you saw him adjust back and go straight to the straight plane. And that was very good to see, because Spencer Howard's a guy that we've been talking about him making adjustments each time. And the fact that he made those adjustments today, or yesterday, excuse me, is huge. And tonight, we have our ace on the mound in Aaron Nola. So, the Phillies should be coming into this game. They're playing Patrick Corbin, the same matchup as the last time. And they should be coming into this game feeling pretty good. We obviously played some very good baseball lately, and our bullpen has still been somewhat of an Achilles heel, even after getting new people. But we added Phelps, and if I were them, I would give Phelps the closer role, considering how good he's been in the last four years, let alone recently. He's one of the best relief pitchers in baseball since 2016 in terms of hard contact rate, in terms of whip, in terms of all the good stuff you want to go into. So, he hasn't had a lot of experience closing. Either he has six or eight career saves, something around that ballpark. So he obviously doesn't have a lot of that experience being in his 30s and only having that many. The thing is, I would hand it over to him because of how good he's been, and we'll see where it goes from there because Workman's been Lidge at the end of his career. Not the good Brad Lidge, the Lidge that gave you first and third with no outs, and then you had to hope he got out. So... I think that Workman eventually will not be the closer if he keeps having these stressful closing situations. But tonight, I think obviously the key to the game is Nola pitching a good successful game. Again, going at least six innings, I would say. And then Corbin, we have to jump on him whenever he leaves him over. He got Reese's hitting really well, so that's beneficial. Uh, Kutch, other than yesterday, is hitting really well. And then Goslin might be in, in this game because you got Corbin pitching. So... Goose has continued to get a, usually a hit per each game he's in. So, this is a lineup that has been productive and has been very good. Quinn has also got hot, and uh, that's very great to see. So, everybody seems to be picking their part and doing their part here. So, that's the keys, not just for this game, but for the rest of the season to be successful as well. And another key, not just for this game... But for the rest of the season to be successful and to get where the Phillies think they can get is the bullpen to continue to improve and get better and progress throughout the season. I mean, they've shown a little bit of signs. It still hasn't been great. I mean, the team has still allowed home runs. They've allowed this. They've allowed that. And then they've got out of it. Yesterday, as they said on the post game, I understand he's a young kid. Uh, in Jojo Romero, but he was looking good, and I would have left him out there. I would have let him go the whole two innings. Um, I would have tried to let him get through that whole two innings. Hembray's been abysmal other than in his first outing since he's got here, so what's your motive to bring him in? And then uh, Hunter did good, who's lowered his ERA now down to 329, and Workman now has his up to 4.85. So, these guys need to really become consistent and more stable because, as Girardi said, it's good to have more parts in the bullpen, but it doesn't help you if they're not consistent. So you need to have some consistency in this bullpen, and you need to have some bounce back. You need to have some guys that, after a bad performance, don't have another bad one, and that's kind of been what Hembray's been ever since his first good performance. So hopefully he can bounce back and get going. David Hall's barely pitched yet, so can't really speak on him, but... I think this team, they just need the bullpen to keep progressing, they need the lineup to keep doing the thing, and they need the rotation, especially Spencer Howard, to continue to progress and get better as he pitches in big games down the stretch, because they banked on him, and they banked on the rotation, because they got bullpen people, they got zero people for the pitching rotation, so they banked on Howard stepping up, they banked on Nola, which is a good bank, and they banked on Wheel, which is a good bank as well. And Howard stepping up is likely a good bank as well, especially after looking at that last game. But the point is, you can't just have those guys. You need, in the regular season, to get to where you want to get in the playoffs, you might be able to suit your fancy with three solid starters. 
But in the regular season, you're going to need Eflin to step up more. You're going to need Arietta especially to step up more. So you're going to need all those guys to pitch better games and pitch good productive games. Eflin had a pretty solid last start, so build upon that and get better. Arietta had an abysmal last start, so bounce back from that and get better. So those are the keys to really continuing success this season and not only in this game. Since it's the halfway point, I didn't want to just do a keys to success for this game. I wanted to do a keys to success for the whole rest of the season. And for me, that's pitching, pitching, pitching. In the starting rotation, in the bullpen, you got to be consistent. You got to get more consistent if you're Jake Arrieta and Brandon Workman and Hembre. So we got to see consistency and we got to see some wherewithal in these guys to continue to go out there and pr- and get better rather than it seems like some of these guys just go out there and start gunning it. They're just they're not really pitching, they're throwing, like Ricky Bo likes to say. So I think some of these guys just need to rein it back and trust their stuff. They they got good stuff, they just need to trust it. And that'll really help. Obviously our our um lineup, excuse me, has to continue to do very well and continue to score a good amount of runs per game, especially if our pitching stays inconsistent. But these have been my keys to not just winning this ball game tonight against the Nationals, but to continue to build from our 15 and 15 record as it stands as the midway point of the season and get better and better and become a team that's actually not messing, not maybe a contender, but a team that contending to go a few rounds in the playoffs rather than just get to the playoffs. Because if the team keeps progressing like this and rallying off, that's going to be what the mindset changes to. Right now, it's mindset of let's just get to the playoffs and get in for the first time in a while like the Flyers mindset was where there's changed to well now from what we did in the regular season in the second half we should be able to do better which is not happening but should (laughs) so the where with the Phillies that will change to the mindset as well and then you would hope it actually freaking happens so those have been my keys to not just this game, but the rest of the season. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy the baseball, enjoy the hockey, enjoy the basketball, but always remember, focus on what's going on in the world right now, too, because there's much more important things than sports. Peace out, everybody.